Hey guys, hey. You guys are doing. Is it guys are doing? Because today would be Monday for me. That means it's a Sunday for you. And if you're on the East Coast, it's now Monday for you too. So, neener, neener, neener. Um, it is one o'clock in the afternoon for me. And I didn't get all the eye makeup off yesterday. <laughs> By the time we got back, legit, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I walked in the door after we'd walked Seoul for like six hours. Met up with Megan. We went and had food. And again, did I mention that we walked Seoul for like six hours? And um, so, okay, let's, let's, you know how I am. So there's like 12 stories <laughs> in one. Hold up. Hold up. So the first thing I'll tell you is that this place out here... <laughs> that my poor husband has to be living in is a shithole. Like, for real. So, this is what I thought all of Korea was like. No, girl. Mm -mm. The moment we rode out this base, it was like... I mean, I took, I took film, which you'll see. Um, of just the countryside and stuff, me sitting there doing doing my stuff, whatever, and it's legit. Like my face is just like, then we go to the army base because there's a there's a base here, and there's a base in Seoul, which is an army base. I don't know what happened over here. But that shit ain't fair. It is beautiful. It is pristine. It is, number one, clean. Their shit ain't falling apart. Like, every building doesn't look like it's about to be condemned. Like, it is. I'm like, how the, what, how, who, huh, the mother, what, how, you, what? And they're right there. They are right there in Seoul. Like, you walk across the bridge. And they're right there. Like, it's, it's right, it's, 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 you're in it. And then here, you've got, like, Dirt Central and, like, you know, food poisoning, you know. Oh. My, my beautiful hubby and I were both like, now that's some bullshit. <laughs> this is some number one grade A a bullshit. I don't know how anybody who got stationed here at Osa would not be jealous and pissed off that they're not at the other one. So, there's that. Okay, so that's where you get dropped off at. You get dropped off at the other base. And then you take a taxi. And I think that we took the taxi to, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna murder the name of this place. So don't hurt me. Me, my, I'm just gonna call it Mahjong. Sure, that'll work out. Mahjong. Dong, I'm not joking. My John, me, me, something starts with the M Y. My something, something, Dong, everything's last name Dong here. Uh, shopping center. So you'll see it looks, oh my god. So it's beautiful. It's beautiful. The streets are paved. I mean, just the stores are beautiful. The stores are like gorgeous. Everything's clean. Nobody's smoking. Nobody's, nuh -uh. They have designating smoking areas for people, and those people look ashamed to even be over there. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, there's nobody, like, everywhere here. Like, you go here, like, right outside, they're in your face. Like, you, you might as well be stuffing a cigarette in each one of your nostrils and just lighting them up. I mean, it, like, I can smell somebody smoking outside my window now. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, completely different experience. Like, there's not trash everywhere. Now, they still have a lack of trash cans, which I'm not exactly sure. I'm, I'm wondering if people, like, have, like, little mini trash cans in their backpacks or something. Because everybody's carrying a suitcase of some kind. Like, you know, the little rolly ones. And everybody's just rolling around the damn shopping area with that. So, for me, I was like, do you eat your trash? Like, what, what, do, you, what do you do with it? Like, there's, there's no, like, legit trash cans. And then we found one, two, here or there. Um, like, you could recycle. Agua. Et cetera. Et cetera. Et cetera. So, 
yesterday, one of the very first things, because I had not eaten except a little bit of like apple juice and a P3. A um, little bit of a sparkling apple juice and, and a P3. And even the apple juice, I was kind of, uh, it was pushing it because it was noon for me and I knew I should have eaten beforehand and I had taken my medication. So I had taken, um, excuse me, the Wobutrin, my Lamictal, because we didn't get up until a little bit later than that anyway. And then it took me forever to get ready because I was hurting and <clears throat> nobody gives a shit about that. So we get there and I have a massive panic attack right off the bat, right off the bat. The minute we get out of that taxi and it, they're, they have no sense of personal space. Do you know how like in America or maybe other countries, I don't know because I've never been to any other country besides Canada, you have person, you have a space bubble. There, there's normally a space bubble. So here, let's pretend this deodorant is me okay usually when you're standing in line here's me over here and the person behind you is back here right like they give you your own personal fucking space here they're like like all up in your shit like all up in it i mean like they might as well be sniffing what you had for breakfast this morning they have no sense of personal space none not not even a little bit not even a tiny bit and because there's so many people packed in a tight area like you're constantly trying to move it, get through and trying to Jesus Christ and turn it sideways and trying to do a cartwheel over somebody and their kid it was, it was I can only imagine what living in a city with this many people would be like it's, it's like the equivalent I think Matthew said of like New York where everything's just kind of packed in or like China where everything's just kind of like packed in together and like everybody's like in a teeny tiny space and there's like nine million people so of course I get there and I'm not expecting it because you know in the sed you have a little more room and then I get out and like so because <laughs> every store you go into every restaurant you go into you are packed on top of somebody there's this much room between you and somebody else and so he's he's looking around for something to eat and like a lot of the signs and stuff don't have English okay and that's not their fault that's my fault okay like I, I like to put that out there because it is not their fault this is their country you know I'm in their country it's, it's my fault for not reading their language you know they, they shouldn't have to do, we won't go there because people are going to be like, well, what about me? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We ain't going to go there. Okay. You and me, we ain't on the same page on that. We ain't got to go there. That's my fault. It's my fault. I cannot read them. But I can ask them questions. So I do. So, you know, I'm trying to figure out. And believe it or not, most of them had no idea what the hell I was talking about. And my hair is on my back and I hate that. Um, so... <laughs> There are all these beautiful um, roses. There are these gorgeous, like, um, ice cream. What's well, gelato? Uh, yogurt. No, it's yogurt roses. Excuse me. Excuse me. Frozen yogurt roses where they, like, you know, make it beautiful. So I took a bunch of pictures with this one. Um, it had chocolate on the bottom, vanilla in the middle, and then, I mean, on the side of it. And then it had, like, a, like a berry type yogurt in the middle. So I took a bunch of pictures with that because I was hoping to get on that. Like I was, I was hungry, and I was like, "Oh damn, yeah, that looks good as fuck." No, no. See, a lot of the pastries and and a lot of the desserts in, in here are not very sweet, which I appreciate because that means that I don't have to worry about dying. Nope. I'm gonna have to make this video in like threes because I, I talk too damn much. Anyway, so I make, I have them make me a pretty rose and I, I, I pose with it, I, I take a bite of it and then my stomach says, <laughs> aren't you cute? And I'm like, my stomach goes, and I'm like, oh no, I have to find a bathroom. I have to find a bathroom now. 
now bathroom now 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 bathroom now so now we're like running around he's eating this damn ice cream and I'm like bathroom 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 now I'm not gonna lie no matter which bathroom I went into it's still one of the most disgusting bathrooms I've ever been in now America's got some nasty ass bathrooms but it's always wet do you know what I'm saying it's always dirty and I am looking into the camera okay so there's a lot of times where people write me and being like I can't stand you don't look into the camera I, I have a hole the size of a pen like prick to try to stare into which is right there you have no idea how hard it is for me to stare at that tiny ass little thing this is not a camera camera this is a phone so if you catch me going over here it's because it's more comfortable than trying to stare at this damn teeny tiny little thing that's giving me eye strain so you're just going to have to live with it or not watch me or put me on and just you know your earbuds and turn the camera around <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you pretend it's a, a podcast there you go so you know I, the bathrooms are gross I take a lot of Purell I take a lot of alcohol wipes in my purse and stuff like that just just because and I have another story about that here in a minute You see that face that Nope. So I gotta do my, my business, you know, I'm I'm they are usually shared bathrooms, doesn't bother me any. Um for the most part, you know, I go in there, I make it all clean on the toilet and you know, I do what I gotta do, use my poopery if that's what I need to do. I, I clean up after myself. I wash my hands, I wash my arms, and then I use a lot of Purell and then open the door with a, a napkin. So, <laughs> I'm like, mm, no touchy. So anyway, we get back and we're walking around and everything. And I'm, Matthew is amazing. So he's got a backpack and he's putting all the stuff that we're getting in a backpack. And I'm looking around these different stores and we go into Forever 21 because it's something normal for me. Um, number one, I've never shopped there. Number two, I have no idea what it would look like in another country, and it was familiar. So I was like, okay, well, at least let me just kind of come in here and do it. Everything is ridiculously expensive. <coughs> like $49 for a blouse. And I'm sure that in America it's the same way. I don't know. I don't shop at these places because I have never been able to shop at these places. I, I tried on nothing because Korean sizes compared to American sizes and that they ain't for this girl. They, forget it. So the only <laughs> the <laughs> So, but I'm still looking around for like little keychains and jewelry. Mostly of what I went for was jewelry. Um, just kawaii jewelry and, and little tiny things like that. So that's primarily what I'm shopping for. Well, I'm looking for stuff for my, my significant everything and, you know, just to see what that got because we haven't really bought, you know, much for, you know. So I was like, okay, well, you know, we'll go see, because they have a men's section, and they have a whole bunch of, like, stuff that's all, buy one, get one free, and whatever, and they had some decent prices, so we got a few things. Um, of course, again, nothing for me. I wasn't even going to bother. They might have had some socks. <laughs> I had some socks that would fit, but I did find some headbands and some cute stuff there, so I'll show you one of the, like, little cute headbands. I, I will wear this shit out the house. Like, you, you don't have to like what I wear. Like, I, I love shit like this. Like, I went out and bought all kinds of little hair stuff. Like, that stuff. All of these. Like, like you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta like what I wear. Like, that didn't bother me. Like, look, look how cute. Like, Look, I never got to experience being adorable and cute and thin when I was little. I never got to experience being thin and, you know, mobile and anything in my early, you know, teens or my 20s or, you know, it wasn't until, shit, <laughs> like 35 years old before I started losing some weight. And even then, it took me until now to where I'm more comfortable, I could feel more like myself, I can 
see if that's a person. Yeah, sorry. Um, I could be more like myself and feel like this is who I am. Uh, more like that. Fly up in the air. Um, it is just mainly because. You know, I have been beaten down my entire life and told that, you know, no one will ever want you. No one will ever want to see you. Like, you are disgusting. You know, because you're fat, you're less worthy. Because you're fat, no one will ever, you know, want to be your friend. You'll never get married. We've, we've gone over that. That's a bunch of damn hooey. So, if, if that's how you feel, you know, you should stop telling your family that because it's bullshit. People who are overweight deserve love, too. We are not a failure, like, and, and, and the bullshit where you have to love yourself before anybody else can love you is also bullshit, because that's not, that's, that ain't true either. I found the love of my life, and I, I hated myself, but slowly but surely, learning that somebody else could love me after it had been most of my life where I was told that nobody would ever love me for just me because of what I looked like helped me gain my confidence. Don't tell somebody that because they're not ready to love themselves that they can't love anybody else because that doesn't make any damn sense. What if they have kids? Are you telling me because I was over 500 pounds and I couldn't really accept myself at that point in time that I didn't love my dog? Like, well that's an animal. No, that's my baby. That is, that Saki is my baby. Yuki is my baby. I am just now, over the past like three years, learning that it's okay to love me even though I am not at goal, even though I am not perfect, even though I am not where everyone else thinks I should be. Do you see what I'm saying here? I know that this went on a huge tangent, but I think it's so very important for me to throw that out there today is like don't tell somebody else that they're not worthy of love because of what they weigh or that if you feel that way yourself like don't 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 put that on yourself and definitely don't put that on a family member or your kids or anybody else because they definitely do deserve love and this this is a new fucking age where acceptance needs to be number one acceptance accept people for who the hell they are if they need to change you can help you know if they want it but you can't force somebody to change don't expect somebody to change because you're changing a lot of times in the weight loss community I said weight loss community not weight loss surgery community we are changing making better things for ourselves doing healthier options but you cannot force somebody else to change unless they are willing ready and want to you can't expect somebody to live up to your expectations because when you do you're gonna fail because if they don't meet your expectations that's when you become well I thought you would be this for me I thought you would do that for me they're not ready for that and you can always sit down and talk to somebody and be like hey you know here's how I feel please let's have an adult conversation let's see how you feel let's see how we can compromise and that's friendships family spouses everything a lot of people will not communicate and damn it I wanted to talk about Korea and here I'm talking about all kinds of all hi my name is Nirvana how you doing I'm a squirrel I'll leave this one just the way it is I'll make another video right after this that I'll post the very next day um, and that way I can have something scheduled because I also have all kinds of little clips of shit that I did yesterday and tons of pictures to show you guys. If you're not on my Instagram, it is Nirvana, excuse me, Experiencing Nirvana. If you're not on my Facebook, it's Nirvana Lee. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe and you hit the little button down below because it'll, bing, tell you when I have, or supposed to, can't operate it, where tell you when I have new videos, which is pretty much a couple times a week, depending on what I'm doing and how I'm feeling. So... I love your beautiful, gorgeous, amazing faces. I'm sorry I got off track. I hope my message came through. And I will talk to you again very, 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 very soon. Bye, guys.